Hey, Medicosis Perfectionalis viewers, how are you doing today? Now, since we have discussed macrocytic anemia, especially the megaloblastic subtype, now let's talk about non-megaloblastic macrocytosis. And of course, since it's macrocytic, the mean corpuscular volume will be increased. The symptoms of anemia are the same no matter what. Tired and pale, pale and tired. Sometimes I get angina and I could also have a murmur and also some headache and exercise intolerance. Depending on Mr. MCV, the anemia is either microcytic small cells, normocytic normal size cells, or macrocytic large cells. M macrocytic anemia will have an MCV of more than 100 femtoliters. Macrocytic anemia has two subtypes, megaloblastic and non-megaloblastic. What's the difference? Megaloblastic is a process with hypersegmented neutrophils, pancytopenia, and maybe even indirect hyperbilirubinemia. Non-megaloblastic, no hypersegmented neutrophils, no pancytopenia, usually white blood cells and platelets have normal number. And also, remember that megaloblastic can have glossitis in both folate and B12, maybe more with B12, neuropathy is exclusively B12, here no glossitis and no neuropathy. Here the cells are big and oval, here they are rounded, but big, like big rounded. So non-megaloblastic, but they are still macrocytic. These are the main differences. What's the most common cause of megaloblastic? Folate is usually more common. Why is that? Your liver only stores folate for months. It stores B12 for years. It can be up to nine years, which is great. Here, the most common cause is alcoholism. This is the most common one. Also, you have liver disease and drugs as causes of non-megaloblastic. So, in liver disease, um, you will have MCV, of course, high, around 105. And in liver disease, you will see these target cells. Why are they target? There is excessive membrane lipids that's elevating the RBCs, like this. And it caused this kind of target lesion. Remember, this is a three dimension, like in real life. I cannot draw it here. Anyway, so target cells are there. In liver disease, the lifespan of RBCs are not decreased. They are just big red blood cells like this. In non-megaloblastic anemia, sometimes you don't have anemia. Like symptoms of anemia are not there. You just have big RBCs, but you're, you're fine. Just the RBCs are big. How about alcoholism? Usually the MCP is around like 110 or maybe 100 to 110. Like still macrocytic. You have something called vacuolization of the precursors of RBCs, which like have many vacuoles. And these are present in the bone marrow. Of course, the precursors stay in the bone marrow. Um, is alcoholism reversible? Yes, if you stop drinking alcohol, this macrocytosis or big cells will eventually disappear. So you can reverse the macrocytosis and you can reverse the anemia by stop drinking alcohol. So for hematology's sake, stop drinking excessively. Here are the main differences between megaloblastic and non-megaloblastic. I'll see in the next video when we will talk about the normocytic anemia, big time for the boards. So take care and study hard and be fine.